Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show how to use Cinema 4D Lite inside After Effects. Let's get started. So, first step, go to File, New and Maxon Cinema 4D file. Let's click and save this file. Let's add name tutorial and click Save. Then we see Cinema 4D Light, and let's go to Objects, select this plan, and click this icon, Chain Scale, like this. And let's back to After Effects, select this file, move to this inside this icon. Okay, now we can see Empty, and let's back to Cinema 4D, and Control S, Save File. Again back to After Effects and we can see now this plane back to Cinema 4D again. Go to Render Settings, Change Width and this. This is Full HD Size, click OK and Ctrl S again back to After Effects. OK and go to here, right mouse, Composition Settings, Change Size here, Full HD. And click OK. Nice. Then back to again Cinema 4D and go to Objects, select this cube and click Move Tool, Move to Up. OK. And Ctrl S for C in After Effects, back to After Effects and we can see here. Go to here, Render, Change Software Standard Draft or Final Draft standard draft okay let's select this cube and move to left let's click this icon for create a new keyframe go to here 50 keyframe and move to right this cube again click this icon and let's see okay for save ctrl s let's click ctrl s and back to after effects let's see Okay, nice. So let's back to Cinema 4D and go to Lights. Select this area light and move to up. Rotate this light and move to here. And Control S. Let's back to After Effects. Okay, we can see this light here. Okay, let's back to Cinema 4D and hold Control. Move to left this light and change rotation move to here and up change scale okay then let's create new material go to here control n for shortcut let's select this material and use for this cube open this material and change color yellow and go to this reflection, change reflection, this is ward, and change these settings. Okay, let's close, and let's click render. Nice. Let's control S, and back to After Effects. Okay, we can see this cube yellow color, back to Cinema 4D. Select this color, hold control, move to right and move to inside this plane. And let's open color. Go to color here, change blue. And control S, save, back to After Effects. Okay, nice. Okay, we can create new camera and add keyframes. Go to camera, let's create this camera. And Go to coordinates, let's click this icon for go to camera view and let's add keyframes. Go to here and change camera coordinates like this and move to right. Again click this icon. OK, 
Okay, let's see. Okay, nice. Let's control S and back to After Effects. Okay, let's go to Render, Change Software, and let's see here. Okay, nice. So let's back to again Cinema 4D. Go to Objects. Let's add one Sphera or Torus. Move to Up, Change Scale. Okay. So in this time, select this Torus, right mouse, and Simulation Tag and rigid body select this plan and cube right mouse simulation tag and collider body let's click play okay nice okay let's delete this camera and let's see our animation okay nice then select this torus, click this icon, soft body, and go to cache, click bake all. Okay, let's preview. Okay, nice. Then control S for save, back to After Effects, and let's see here. So press N for select work area. Okay, nice. So we can click this icon, XRAT, for Cinema 4D Scene Data. Let's click and import these lights and our camera. Okay, nice. And go to and go to project settings, change camera, centered comp camera. Then select this camera and go to controllers and select this. Or you can change camera settings in the keyboard. Press C. Okay, let's change camera view. Okay, nice. So let's select this camera, right mouse, again camera, let's create new orbit null and press P, make new position keyframe. Go to here and, and let's zoom object. Okay, nice. Let's see. Thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!